five years from now at the rate we're going. Church is afraid of viruses. They so it's real easy. To They've embraced this life. Now, I've also demonstrated here for those who may not have seen uh, the mention of this in my review of the PL330, I have demonstrated the recalibration function uh, as it works on the PL330. Uh, it's very similar, a little bit different on the 909X and the H501, but basically uh, when you have the station, uh, and in this case we're 9395, which is exactly zero beat on lower and upper sideband, well, let's say you shift up to another station, let's say uh, Spain 11940. Uh, you'll shift and inevitably there'll be a little bit of a difference and you'll want to recalibrate that, uh, which of course will throw your other frequency off, but you do nonetheless want to recalibrate for that other frequency. Uh, what you do is uh, on the station that you're tuned to, uh, you go to let's say 11940, go into lower upper sideband, then you hit the step button twice, quickly twice, don't hold down, and you'll see the indicator go from this digit all the way over to the final digit. Then you use the main tuning knob to fine tune zero beat the station the frequency that you're on. Then if you're lower upper sideband, you hold lower upper sideband down depending upon where you are until you see the flash and you'll see the zero uh, indicating that you're now zero beat. So I'm going to demonstrate this now in 11940. Again, for those people who have and love the PL330 for its size and its great flexibility, but you may not have used the recalibration function. So I'm going to power on. I'm going to go 9395, but I'm going to go up to 11940 Spain, which is another strong uh, signal still at this hour. And I'm going to recalibrate on 11940. So you'll hear there that 11940 Spain is slightly off zero beat. It's not a huge difference, but it is something that you want to uh, correct, and the capability is there on this small radio to do that. So I'm going to go and uh, do that recalibration function, and I'll do it slowly so you can see what the steps are. Uh, step button, flashing, again over to the final digit. I'm in lower sideband. I've lost that step, so I'm going to do it again. Step. Again, there's my zero beat. I'm in lower sideband, flash, and zero. Check upper sideband, and in this case, upper sideband. Uh, in this case, upper sideband is already close, so I'm not going to recalibrate on upper sideband. So what you have here now is lower. and upper are exactly or pretty close to exact zero beat on that frequency. Now, if I change back to 9395, you'll see I'll have to do that again. And uh, partly that's formed by our, the society that we live in, we see the world. But uh, interestingly, it, the radio is still on fairly close, if it's not exactly on zero beat, at least on uh, upper sideband here, so there's no adjustment necessary. Let's go check lowest, lower sideband. Now, lower sideband is a little off, so I'm simply going to repeat the recalibration process. The way we learned to look at it as in unbelief, let's say. Coming to Christ, before we come to Christ, we see ourselves in a certain, certain way. You might see yourself as a loser. You might see yourself as a, you know, a strong champion, but there's a thousand and one ways in which we... And most of us are crippled in one way or another. 
And so if you simply talk about what we talked so about. So I'm still a little bit off on uh, lower sideband. I'm going to repeat the process. But we don't get this other part. We don't deal with the worldview and the way we see ourselves and the world in which we live, then we're going to be struggling. Because serving Christ is not a formula. It's not just a set of principles that we, you know, it's not a 12-step program. You know, it's not just something where we know what to do. I, I, I believe the Lord can give us understanding, and I think what I said was right. But I, as I was talking about it and thinking about it, my mind went to Paul's worldview. Now think about what worldview was before he came to Christ. In his all right, so in that example, I was a little bit off in uh, recalibrating the second time for lower sideband. So there's still a bit of a difference, but basically, in theory, it is possible for you to get at exactly or near zero beat on frequencies on the PL330. So again, this is a feature that is not present on Sangian's uh, 909X2 radio. It's a shame that it isn't present because um, exacting shortwave listeners and those who appreciate uh, these portable equipment, these radios, like to be as close as they uh, can be to the exact frequency when they're listening to it. But more importantly, the audio difference that you can obtain and achieve with manual bandwidth adjustment uh, when in single sideband, and I'll do it again here. Gentiles, and I'm one of the favorite ones. Uh, go back to uh, upper sideband. He saw everything through that lens, didn't he? Uh, exactly zero beaded. And in a single sideband, I'm going to hit the bandwidth. This false prophet named Jesus. And there you go. I mean, he was so you can have sharp filtering. Religion, as it were, 0 0.5 the all the way up to 4 kilohertz. Saw people not only arrested for their faith, but in single sideband mode. Faith. So this truly, uh, truly is a uh, a stroke of intelligent uh, radio design by Texan. Uh, they didn't have to put it in the PL330. I'll note that it does not appear to be present in the PL368, uh, which is just coming on the market uh, from Texan, which is a shame, uh, unless it's a hidden feature in the PL368. Uh, but... Uh, in these three radios, the 330, the 990X, and the 501X, this fantastic feature is in these radios. Um, and with that feature, uh, along with uh, the kind of semi-successful synchronous detection um, and, you know, the scanning, this little radio is really a wonder of miniaturization and capability. Uh, by Texan. Uh, even with its faults, even with the faults of the 990 and the 501, uh, by putting in multi-bandwidth uh, flexibility in these receivers, uh, these receivers have leapt over uh, where the Sangian 909X2 is uh, at the present time, even with its five bandwidths selectable in the AM mode. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, demonstration. Again, for those of you who have the PL330 or are thinking of obtaining it, but are forgetting or don't know or didn't see my mention of the fact that recalibration is uh, a feature in this radio, uh, I've just demonstrated it here. Any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to contact me. It's a matter of who we are is and what his purpose is. Over time, what God brought Paul to a knowledge of, and some of it was painful. You know, we've mentioned many times what the Lord took him through.
groundbreaking, the National Director of the Living Union of the President said that since the beginning of the pandemic, the case of 102,000 for hours, six people died as a consequence of COVID-19, which brings the total number of deaths to 597. The official highlighted that laboratories of the country analyzed 24,190 real-time PCR samples for the presence of the virus, which brings the total number to 3,541,000. March, the total of the Cases. The General Workers' Party of the Army General.